Hello, beautiful. Today we're watching some people give themselves wolf cuts. If you're anything like me, you'd be like, what is a wolf cut? Honestly, it might just be me because it sounds like pretty much everybody across the board is like, oh yeah, a wolf cut. Like that's totally makes sense. I'm thinking like, does a wolf have layers? Because all a wolf cut is, is a layered haircut. Wolves don't have layers, right? Do they? I don't think so. Do they? I was looking it up earlier and I'm like, well, there has to be some kind of meaning. And I guess it was like, cause wolves are cool. <laughs> People relate this like cool bad haircut to wolves. If you have a better explanation of why it's called a wolf cut, then let me know. And I'm gonna be really embarrassed if there's a really simple explanation and there probably is, but that's okay. I've been very embarrassed before in my life, so. Okay, anyways, um, we're gonna be watching some people do these wolf cuts to their heads. If it's anything like I've seen on TikTok, it's gonna be intense. Let's get into it. Let's watch the videos. Let's see what's going on with these wolf cuts and um, let's have a good time. Let's do it. Up first, this video is by Cereal Cyril. 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 It's one of those, I think. A Williams. The last name is Williams. Gave myself the DIY TikTok wolf cut. I'm ready to get wolfed up in this Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Sierra, like the singer. If you didn't know, now you know. Her name's Sierra, so it was none of the ones I said. Why is there an L at the end? I decided that I want to cut my hair today again like I did last time. My hair was blue because I missed my layers. Last time I got my hair cut, I got it cut all even. So I already brought shears. This been on my mind. I'm so happy you bought some shears. Yes. That means they'll be sharp enough to cut your hair. They're definitely like cheap shears, which is totally fine. I don't give a shit how much they cost. I just want you to not use some craft scissors that are dull as hell. The shears that I used last time, I've been using them like regular scissors and I'm not cutting my hair. So yeah, I'm also doing why my hair is straight and I'm probably gonna regret that, but I want the like the layers curled up and out. Y'all can see what I'm talking about, but it's just the diva cut that I did last time my hair was blue last year, like August, around that time before I went, right before I went pink, it was trending on TikTok as a diva cut, but now it's trending on TikTok as a wolf cut because I guess it's more non-black people doing it right now and they don't get diva cuts as they have curly hair. I don't get it. Dang, was it not detangled all the way? Can y'all even see what I was doing? I don't even know if y'all can see. This girl has so much hair. I'm glad her hair is nice and straight before she cuts. That way, you know, her wave pattern is not existent and um, we're not gonna get all crazy lines going on when one day she straightens it again and you know, whatever. You get what I mean, you know? Maybe you don't, I don't know, but it's fine. And now she's going in. And the first step to a wolf cut is pulling up the hair all the way to the front of the head in a ponytail. And then you chop it off. And then you'll see what happens after that. See, this is gonna give me a lopsided cut. It was not gonna be perfect, because if I wanted it perfect, I would've went get layers cut. And I'm glad she just said, if I wanted it to be perfect, I would go get layers cut. Okay, it. so she knows. It's not gonna be totally great. We know that, you know? I don't even know how much I'm gonna cut. <laughs> I'm just shocked that she still has so much hair on her head, even though her hair is curly naturally, which means it's automatically dry. And then she bleached it and she dyed it blue and straightens it. And somehow she still has like 20 pounds of hair on the head. What the f Dude, give me some of that hair. Oh, she's really going for it. Oh, whoa. I was not planning to cut this much hair. I was not planning on you cutting that much hair either because I was expecting like a little chunk. That was like full on. So what's happening here is she's over directing all of the hair to the front of her head. That means the hair that's coming from down here and around here are going to be the longest, right? And then as we go up, the layers are gonna start getting shorter and shorter and the front layers around on the face are going to be the shortest because you're over directing the hair right to where they sit. You're gonna get these really long ends and really short layers. It doesn't end there. No, they do more than that. Okay, step two is by the ears, which you don't cut as much. Now I don't have my freaking rat tail comb to get these parts straight, but that damn, that's pretty damn straight to me. That is pretty damn straight, yes. I'm curious to see how this is gonna look curled. Well, not curled, but wet. Because I did have some straight pieces, but some of them were this length. <laughs> so now I feel like I wanna have straight pieces in the back and none in the front. I might end up just cutting the rest off. So like she said, the second step is then to take the hair from the ears up and put a, another ponytail right in the front of your head, like a little unicorn. Okay. 
Okay, this is a lot of hair, and my biggest question is how? You're putting the hair up and then cutting pieces off at random lengths and then another random length. How is it all gonna add up to make one unified haircut? Do y'all see these layers? This is cute. Oh. This side looks crazy because it's like blunt the other way, but let's look at this side. Now I gotta do just the eyebrows next. You know, the only thing I hate about this cut, it was so hard to do my like slick back ponytails and my like the fake bang bun. It's so hard to do that with the hair cut like this. We're gonna go shorter? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm just like not getting the vibe. So hopefully this last cut just brings all the vibes together. Don't ask me why I twisted it and cut it like this. I just decided to do it like this. I've never did it like this before. But I always see the white girls cut their bangs like this. And my hair is straight right now. Oh, that's why they do that. So it's like that. The thing that it scares me is that we're not gonna texturize it at all. Like that's it. Few cuts and we're done. It is now the afternoon. I can't wait to see this. I don't know, I feel like it's gonna look really good. So. My first time hanging my hair down. Ooh. It's really pretty. It got a lot of bounce to it. You know what I wish? I wish when I re dye my hair, I would have left this part. Yeah, it's just my face. Like, my face is just so round. Oh my god. This was the best decision I've ever made. I just don't understand. Damn. Okay, that's enough of that because we are both shook. It's too much shookery going on in one video because What? How did we as a team as a unit get there? That looks like incredible. What? The layers? The color? It's like not adding up. Like how did you produce that? Is this the best haircut technique ever? Maybe. She looks so good. Congratulations. The color, fabulous. The cut, fabulous. The blow up, fabulous. Wow, I'm here for the wolf cut. Okay, let's watch the next video. Hopefully it's as good as this one. Next video is by LED and this is called I Gave Myself a Wolf Haircut. I committed the cardinal sin of letting my hair grow out again. I think I've said this in every haircutting video I've done so far. My hair never looks good when it grows out. This just isn't the look for me. It never is. But somehow, every year or every couple of years, I convince myself that it will be the look. I finally come back to my senses and it's time. No, why do we all do that? Why is that a thing? I never like when my hair is grown out either, but I just keep doing it. Cause it's like the only other thing to do besides like cutting and coloring it constantly, you know? Cause you wanna like start fresh and you wanna cut it again and cut it and cut it and cut it and then grow it out again and cut it and cut it and cut it. It's like more fun that way. Her hair is so pretty. I love the color. I love the length. I think that if she did have more of a shag cut, it would be a lot cooler on her though. So I'm here for it. Now I've been seeing those wolf cut tutorials on TikTok. So the technique I see people using to get this cut is one I'm pretty sure has been around for a while. I think this is just called a unicorn cut. It's not new, but people have been using it a lot to get that wolf cut, shag cut kind of style. How much do I want to cut off. Exactly. Like it's not even a new thing that they're doing, but it like seems, feels, and looks newish. Like there's like a new spin on it. Like I think people are going more daring with it and they're cutting layers a bit shorter. But this whole like pull the hair to the front and cut it moment, it's pretty normal. And a lot of people do it. And a lot of people have done it for a long time. Maybe we'll take it a little bit easy just in case I got a little too ambitious with this one. At this point, I've done this one too many times to feel any fear for it whatsoever. So let's just jump in here. Oh! Or what are you cutting with those scissors? Nothing. Air. You couldn't cut air with those. Nothing. Like, nothing at all. You can probably buy hair cutting shears for like $10. Like, I'm pretty sure they're very, very cheap. Just order them on Amazon. You just get an Amazon order going, because I don't want to see this anymore. This is going to shred your hair up. I'm not going to feel bad for it. That is looking like a bit of- It's so it's uneven! Go it's so oh, uneven. It's the uneven dance. You know, this is already feeling not quite as easy as all the TikTok has made it to be. This looks extremely uneven, right? It looks so uneven and jagged. And if you're gonna take the easy way out of things, like this is like an easy way out of getting a lighter haircut, at least 
do the easy thing correctly, you know? Like at least just pull it forward on a nice straight line with scissors that are made for a hair. But what I should have done was get my hair wet before starting all this so I could actually see it completely straight and know for sure where any unevenness was. Okay, first of all, point cutting is gonna solve all your problems. And also, she's totally correct. Why does nobody ever wet their hair before doing this? Cut your hair wet. It'll be the same and it'll be actually more even. So, that's all I'm asking, really. Oh, that did something. Do I like what it did? I feel like the only place I'm really seeing the layers is in the very front of my hair. It's definitely not as dramatic as I wanted it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. So I know most people on TikTok just like stop right here, but I've seen some people saying that what you're actually supposed to do is do two more cuts. So for the next two cuts, what we're gonna do is take all the hair from the ears forward, cut a little bit off of that, and then we take all the hair from the very front, cut a little more off of that. This is going to give me very short layers in the front. Is that what I want? I want shorter layers in the back too. No girl, I'm seeing like a mullety shag on you. Like that's what I'm envisioning and I need it to happen. See, I don't know where the lengths are coming from. Like how are we knowing what the measurement is? I, we're just cutting random pieces. That's kind of neat. Of course it'll look better when I get a chance to actually style it. Okay, I mean it looks good so far. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never been one to lie, but I'm liking what's going on. Also not nearly as short as I was going for. It almost looks like I didn't take any length off at all. Let's just take a piece from the back. We'll just do the little razor cut. We'll see how it goes. I saw two people give themselves wolf cuts like this. In both instances, it turned out looking really cool. So if I come out of this looking like an idiot, I'm gonna feel like I got scammed. Are we using an eyebrow razor to cut random pieces of hair? Okay, I don't know how much that actually did. Nothing, what was that? Basically the same. I don't know if I just need to style it. Ooh, I got some of these pieces very short. Ooh, very short. Short. Okay. <laughs> what is that? This is very short. I feel like I need to even that out a bit. What happened to the last cut? The bang one. You're supposed to do a, a bang thing. So to pull all the hair up from like here and then do the bang thing. Like where was that? It does look way different in the front though, doesn't it? I think it's kind of cool. I think this is headed in a very good direction. I think we've got a good foundation here. She's still cutting. Put the eyebrow razor down. Okay, I really think at this point I just need to be able to curl these and then I'll be able to see where all the layers are in the back. If we need to make more adjustments, we can do so from there. Okay, I am excited for like the outcome. Like I, I think she can pull it together. Okay, so listen up. I love her hair. It looks great, but I just wish she did so much more. I can't help just feel a little bit disappointed. I just wish she like went for it and like really did the damn thing. Like it looks spectacular. Like I really wish she committed to like the full on shaggy mullet. She seems like a really cool girl who can really pull it off. Next time you're doing the full on shag. I'm just saying, I'm just putting that out there. But thank you for sharing it. Okay, so this is just one more thing before we go. This is like a really quick thing. I feel like I needed to share it because it's not even titled wolf cut or anything, but I did see this video already the other day and I was like, and I feel like it just like fits in this video. You'll see why in a second. But um, anyways, this is by Emma Ellingson and this is called Watch Me Cut and Ruin My Hair Vlog. I think you should wet your hair first, but I am not gonna do that. I feel like it will give me more of like a grungy look if I don't wet my hair. She also doesn't wet her hair. You guys hate wetting your hair. Like, is that a thing? Um, she said it would give her a more grungy look if she doesn't wet her hair. Uh, well, maybe, cause it'll look up. Okay, then you do it like this. I've seen a lot of people do this on TikTok too. Okay, so she has very long hair to start. She's automatically not doing it right. You had one job and it was to pull your hair to the front of your head and you couldn't even do that. My problem right now is that I'm not committing to this because right now I'm not really like in that mindset. Yeah, but I need to like commit to this and be like, okay guys, this is what we're doing. Again, I've seen this before, but I'm still gonna be shocked about it because I literally gasped when I first saw it. It's not straight at all. Oh my god. <gasps>
Okay, so when I first watched this, I was like expecting, you know, this much to be cut off. She literally cut off this much hair. And it's in the wrong place. Like it should be up here. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> oh, hey, like, oh my god, it's not that bad. It's just like, it's definitely, oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this is me. Oh my god, I've never identified with a video so much in my life. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, as long as I can get all of my hair in a, in a hair clip, it's all good. Okay, I can do that, so. Okay, no, no, I can't, okay, no, eh. I've never like reacted like this ever in my life, so this is like a first. <laughs> I love you. Let me just show you guys what the final result was because it was actually pretty cute. This hair is giving, oh my God, no. Okay, never mind. it wasn't that cute. Why does the back look like that? Anyways, she ended up just leaving it like that. Oh, that video was so good. Ugh. All right. So we learned what a wolf cut was today. We saw some people like kind of successfully do it, kind of not, but it was super f entertaining and I loved it. Make sure you guys follow me and Xmondo, my hair color and color brand right here. These are all my handles. You can also check out all my hair color and my hair care, link right down below, or go to xmondohair.com. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.